Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate step by step how to upload code to the WT32 ETH01 device. This is an IoT device that we will be using, which has several pins and also an Ethernet port for communication using an Ethernet cable. To learn more about this device, please visit its official website, and you can also download the datasheet for further information. Since the WT32 does not have a USB port for computer uploads, we need an additional device, the TTL to USB UART. This device is used to connect electronics that use TTL level serial communication to a computer via a USB port. The pins we will be using are RX, TX, 5 volts, and ground. I'm also using a mini project board, and some jumper cables. Before we begin, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Thank you. Here is the wiring between the TTL USB and the WT32 when uploading code from the Arduino IDE. First, connect the RX pin on the TTL to the TX pin on the WT32. Then, connect the TX pin on the TTL to the RX pin on the WT32. Make sure to cross the RX and TX between the devices. Connect the 5V pin on the TTL USB to the 5V pin on the WT32. Also, connect the ground pin on the TTL USB to the project board. Afterward, plug the TTL USB into a USB port on your computer. Next, connect the IO0 pin to the ground on the project board. You should then see the red LED light up, and the green LED on the WT32 will also illuminate. Then, connect the EN pin to the ground and we will notice the green LED turning off. Afterward, disconnect the EN pin from the ground, and the WT32 device is now ready to receive the code upload. After the upload process, to run the program that has been uploaded, disconnect the IO0 pin from the ground. Then, connect the ground pin on the WT32 to the ground on the project board. Let's proceed with the wiring of the device as explained earlier. First, connect RX to TX, and TX to RX, make sure to make cross connection between RX and TX. Next, connect the 5 volt pin from the TTL USB to the 5 volt pin on the WT32. Afterward, connect the ground pin on the TTL USB to the project board. Then, plug the TTL into a USB port on computer. Next, connect the IO0 pin to the ground on the project board. You should see the red LED, and the green LED are turning on. Afterward, connect the EN pin to the ground, and you will notice the green LED turning off. Disconnect the EN pin from the ground and we are ready to upload code from Arduino IDE to WT32 device. We will create a simple program to alternate turning the LED on and off. We will use the blink code example. Since the WT32 doesn't have a built-in LED, we will change the built-in LED to use pin IO number 2 as the LED output. Then, 
I add a serial print statement to monitor the LED status through the serial monitor. Before uploading the code, configure the device by selecting the device to be used, which is the ESP dev module, and choose the port number connected to the TTL USB. Next, click upload button to start upload code to WT32 device. After the upload process, to run the program that has been uploaded, disconnect the I.O. 0 pin from the ground. Then, connect the ground pin on the WT32 to the ground on the project board. Connect the negative lead of the LED to the ground, and then connect pin number 2 to the positive lead of the LED as the output. The program we've uploaded will run, and the LED will turn on and off alternately with 1 second delay. In the serial monitor, you can observe the serial prints that have been included in the code. Thank you for watching. I hope this video will be helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.